Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. We're gonna cover a bunch of floating dip tube systems. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate the support. I wanna do a massive review, side-by-side -side comparisons of all the different floating dip tube type systems out there. But before we do that video, I owe it to the products to do individual videos on either each product or each type of product. I'm going to have a video that's gonna cover the clear beer draft system, which we're covering now, Flaut It and Flaut It 2.0 by the same company. And then we're also gonna cover the floating dip tubes by Keglin and Torpedo Keg. So that since they're pretty similar, there's one minor change, but pretty similar, that'll be in a different video. So there'll be three total videos just on each system. And then one final video, which will be the fourth video, comparing them all side by side, pros, cons, good, bad, my opinion, facts, and just overall, you know, what works best for you. So everybody's a little different. This right here is the video for the Clear Beer Draft System. The Clear Beer Draft System is the most expensive in the lineup, running about $50. And if you buy quantities, there is a certain point where you do get some discounting. There it is. If you wanna say you got the biggest balls of all, there you go, big giant stainless steel ball. I mean, huge comparatively speaking to the other ones. Comes with everything you need, does include a couple spare O-rings, which we'll go over that on how you're going to assemble it. And I'll show you how it assembles and how it works so that you understand the system. Keeping with the book giveaway, and since this is a four part series, we're gonna start it off small. So the guide to craft beer, and yeah, it was 20% off at Target, even though that's not where I got it from. So keep watching, look for the key words or phrase. Thank you. Okay, so this is the assembly of the clear beer draft system. You have your big ball, silver stainless steel ball. It does have a screw for the piece that holds on to the little plating. And it's a little Phillips screw, not a big deal. And that does not go all the way through. It stops very shy so you can clean it and there's nothing gonna get inside the ball itself. The dip tube itself will sit just above the liquid inside of the metal housing this, but for viewing so you can see, we'll flip it upside down. So the liquid is gonna flow in here, which means once it gets into the trub, it shouldn't get any trub. If it does, it's gonna be very little and it may leave a little puddle behind. It's a good system, it's a big system, but it's a good system. So I'm gonna show you how to put it together first so we can do a real apples to apples comparison here. You have five large washers, donuts, whatever you wanna call them, and five skinny washers, AKA O-rings, they're all O-rings. You take a big fat one, and I've seen two ways with and without the extra one, but it's not a big deal. We're gonna put the extra one on here. They gave me plenty. And I'm gonna put it all the way down here. And this was ordered, paid for by me, direct from Clear Beer Draft System. Now we take another big O-ring, or fat O-ring, whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna have a spare few here. So now I take that. Now I'm gonna take the small one. And what it showed in the pictures is that I have to get two small ones. So here we go, so you can see. What it's gonna do, and we'll move this one a little bit. It's gonna sit kind of like that, which I guess, in all honesty, I gotta move this one way out of the way so I can get that in there. But we'll worry about that in a little bit. So it looks like that, okay. Now I'm gonna take the filter and we're gonna slide it over here and we want it about halfway. So if I go halfway, that means I kind of need to move this. So I'm gonna move it a little bit. And that's good, right about there. Okay. And this will slide over the little O-rings but stop on the big O-ring. Okay, so it makes perfect sense. Let's make sure I'm gonna be able to get that in there and it's gonna be tight, but we can do it. Okay. So now I take two more of the little O-rings and I slide them on and kind of under. The goal here is to make the filter kind of floating by using the O-rings as seals on the ends to kind of lift it up just about a millimeter on all ends. So I get another one of these in there. There we go. Take another fat donut. Yeah, I got my mind on donuts. It's an O-ring, it's a fat O-ring. And I slide that on there. 
kind of pushing to make sure it goes in there. So now I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take another one of the big ones. So I have one spare skinny and one spare fat. And there we go. I'm gonna push this down, slide that out a little bit. And kind of need a, I guess, ah, no, there we go. I was thinking a flathead screwdriver might help to really get this perfect. It's a little involved, but it is a very nice system. And then this is a cap, it's a little silicone cap. And that goes over the end. So now that we have the cap on here, there we go. That's it. We're done. Not really. <laughs> we got to get the screw in there, which getting the ball on there with the Phillips is a little harder once you have that on there, which I just thought of. And I'm like, you know what? That's a real pain in the butt to do that. But I think it would have been harder for you to view had I not done that. So all I'm gonna do is take this end off, which you're gonna push from the bottom there, get that thing off. Okay, I'm gonna pull that ring out, pop that up, slide this out of my way, set the screw inside, and you can finger tighten this. I mean, I have not needed a Phillips screwdriver to tighten this. It's not that big of a deal. It tightens up real tight with just a finger. No Phillips screwdriver needed. So now I'll pop that back on. I wanna spread these little O-rings out just so I can get a good, I don't want this thing to bob around that much. I don't know if it really matters to be honest, but here yeah, we'll put the cap on. No way I can see how much room I have to play with. There we go. And just sliding your finger back and forth on that thing, it seems to work really well. And there is the finished product, just like that. It'll sit in your keg and it'll float downward, downward until it gets to the bottom and it's able to get the last little sip of beer. You're gonna have a couple spare O-rings. You may need them, just hold on to them. And it comes pre-cut, the tubing comes pre-cut for a five gallon keg. So if your keg, like I saw a six gallon keg came out recently, you may have to get some longer tubing. If you're doing a 1.75 or a two and a half keg, a two and a half gallon, you'd wanna cut this down a little bit. But it's a very simple system. It is the most expensive system, but it is a very simple system that is very well designed. And I've seen many different drafts of it, or should we say versions. So it has been re-engineered and constantly upgraded, which I love when anybody constantly works at upgrading something and coming out with bigger and better versions. I hate when people just think they have the best system and they don't do anything to innovate or keep it moving. So that's it. And if you feel like you need to move this a little more center, you can simply move your O-rings a little bit. But right now we are pretty centered on the filter for the hole and we should be fine. Like I said, plus this is gonna be off to one side. So this is gonna float down. But like I said, you can move it a little bit. Okay, if you're looking to win this book, really easy. Somewhere down in the comments below, put craft beer. That's it. Just craft beer anywhere in the comments. And a week from now, I'll pull the name at the exact same time, basically a week later, and announce the winner. Thank you again for joining us on the Clear Beer Draft System, which is one of three different types of products. And then, like I said, we'll have a fourth video, which will cover all of them comparatively right next side by side, and you can see them. The clear beer draft system, a great system, a little expensive, but a great system. Thank you again for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate it.